I've never tried these things before, so let's see if it's a decent wrap or just plain old crap. Hey my friends, it's Pepperoni and look at this. Farm foods, two bacon and cheese wraps made with golden puff pastry. Oven bake for 25 minutes. So here it is my friends, straight out of the oven. Decent browning and it's quite neatly wrapped as well. See, this is almost an equilateral triangle. A fair scratch in the middle and a similar scratch on the tip. The underside. The underside is also taken on a decent browning. And what with this burnt cheese affair up here, looks like some kind of Muppet at the Muppet Show. Right, let's open this thing up, see what it's like inside. So it is what it is, a piece of bacon and some cheese wrapped in this pastry outer. So as we open it up even more, we can further examine the innards. This bacon is looking a bit sweaty, if you ask me. Indeed, that is a bit of a wobbly, fatty pig. Hmm. And the other piece is not doing much better. Let's face it, looks a bit sweaty. The bacon actually makes up 28% of this dish and the mature cheddar cheese makes up 18%. Now this cozy pig will give you 344 calories, 24.4 grams of fat, of which 12.3 grams is saturated fat. I'll say one thing, its beak is looking nice and crispy, but the pig is looking mildly worrisome. You never know though, a little bit of cheesy meat in a nice warm pastry hole might be just the job. So it's time to get involved. Hmm, smells like boiled bacon. Yes, yeah, so I'm quite curious as to see what the bacon is like on its own first. So here we go. Oh, it's pretty rank on its own, that is. Oh, nasally, sweaty. It leaves that awful taste on your hard palate. Let's have a go at this pastry. Pastry was all right though. Yeah, it was decent on the seasoning front and it had a nice little crisp as it went in. I can't taste anything claggy left in my gob, so that's okay. Right, let's try the whole shebang as it's meant to be eaten. Yeah, it's a lot better that way because you do get a nice little tang from the mature cheddar cheese and couple that with the pastry and it kind of takes away the sweatiness of the bacon, but you still can pick it up ever so slightly down the sides of your tongue. What I do like is during the cooking process, it kind of made these two little cheesy crisps. I bet these will be nice. Oh, those bits are by far the best components of this dish. Just a lovely bit of crispy cheese, like some nicely well done cheese on toast. So you know there's nothing in the tips, just pastry. The cheese is good, the pastry is good, the bacon is rank. I think you should find some way to crisp your meat up before you put it inside these products. Yeah, it's five out of 10 to the last bite. Mm. So, farm foods, bacon and cheese wraps. Ha, <laughs> I reckon you should put crispy, streaky bacon into those wraps. I don't know what this obsession is with using bat bacon. So, back around that table in your inventions office, see if you can come up with that crispiness that we all Deserve, especially when we're whacking out 149 for two. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. The undertide, undertide? What's an undertide? We can further examage. Examage? <laughs> Masticate it down. Right, right, right. So, farm foods, bacon and cheese wraps. <laughs> 
So, oh.